This is an interesting CNC project. These are the full size prints to trace. I'll be using Logic Trace to digitize this diagram and the first thing I'll do is define my workspace by touching the four corners of the diagram. Next I'll select the line command and I'm going to trace out the top of the stool. Easy, quick and accurate. Again I'm going to be using the line command and I'm going to trace out those fittings where the sides of the stool connect to the top. One thing different here is I'm also tracing out fillets. These are small relief spots so when you shove in that joint there's a bit of give. It just makes all the parts easier to fit together and tight. Again I'll be using the line command I'll be tracing out that cross piece under the stool. And again you'll notice that I'm tracing out those fillets. So when the CNC machine cuts these there'll just be a little bit of relief there so that part will fit nice and tight. No pressure. Logic Trace is very easy to use. You've got five commands or five selections. You've got your trace, line, arc, curve fit, or circle. It makes tracing very, very quick. A unique feature of the program is the ability of the program to extend the control window to another device like a cell phone or an iPad. This would enable you to make those selections, trace, line, curve fit, right close to where you're tracing. I find Logic Trace easy to use and it's fast and has the ability to be saved in different formats like DXF, PolyDXF, SVG, or PDF. Here I'm saving in the DXF format because it's for the CNC machine. There are options and setup buttons to configure the program to suit the user. In my case I've set up the line width to look like a black thread. Now that I'm finished tracing, I've saved my file, I've loaded it into the CNC machine, and I'll be starting my cuts. I'll be using a quarter inch carbide end mill to do the cutting. I used a veneer particle core for the sides of the stool and I used a melamine for the top, a white melamine. I also tabbed all the parts so they wouldn't come flying out after they're cut. I used about a quarter by quarter tab. Those tabs are easily cut off and sanded flat. Here you can see most of the cut parts. I used a pre-finished material so the step stool once assembled it's finished and looks good.